In this video, we're going to implement the onboarding screens we have then use app. So as you can see, when the user enters the app for the first time, we're going to show three onboarding screens. This is the first one, and this is the second one, and this is the last one. Then whenever the user clicks on get started, we are going to save that into data store preferences. And when the user enters the app again, we're not going to show these because we're only going to show them once the user enters the app for the first time. In this video, we're going just to design and build the onboarding screens. Okay, now let's get started. The first thing we want to create a new package here and call this presentation. Now this presentation package is part of the clean architecture layers. I'm not going to go through the clean architecture in this video because I'm going to cover that more deeply in a later video in this playlist. But for now, just know that the presentation package here is a part of the clean architecture layers. And inside this presentation layer, we're going to create the UI related code, like the screens, the view models, and anything related to that screen will be inside this presentation package. Now let's create a new package inside this presentation package and call this onboarding. And inside here, we're going to create a class and let's call this page. Now this is going to be a data class, which is going to hold each page information. So for each onboarding screen, we're going to first have the title, which is a string. We're going to have the description, which is also a string. And we're going to have the image. And here I'm going to represent this image by an integer value. So we can say a drawable resource image and this is an integer now let's also create the list of the pages we have so i'm gonna just create the list here called pages and this is list of it's gonna have three pages for our three onboarding screens we have i'm going to copy and paste that because i don't want to waste time on this it's very simple it's just a list of pages for the onboarding screens we have three onboarding screens and these data represent each one of them I just added the same uh, title and description. You can, of course, change that to be the, on your use case. Now, inside this onboarding package, let's create also another package called components. And here we're just going to add some UI components for this onboarding screens. Let's create a composable file here and let's call this onboarding page. Let's create a composable function with the same name. And here we want the page and we also want the modifier so we can pass that in here. Okay, so as you can see in the design here, we're going to design this part of each onboarding screen because this part is the same for all of our onboarding screens. But what differs is the page object itself. So we can just design that in this composable function. And let's start doing that. We're going to have a column. Let's pass the modifier here. Then inside this column, the first thing we want to have is the image. And now let's show that image using a painter resource. Then we show or we pass the image integer value from our object. Let's pass now for the content description. And for the modifier, we want to fill the max width. And for the height, we are going to fill 60% of the height. Okay, now one thing we also want to add scale content or content scale. We want to make this crop. Now let's add a spacer between the column and the title. And for this height value, I just want to put it inside an object here inside the presentation layer. Let's create an object and call this dimension or diamonds. In here, we're going to create our constant padding values. So I'm going to call this one medium padding one and the value is 24 db now let's get back here and let's pass that i'm going to copy and paste it okay so below this spacer we're going to have the title which is just a text we're going to pass page the title for the text and we want to add some padding horizontally so let's pass that and for this value let's get back to our diamonds value duplicate this make this number two and for the value, we, we want to make this 30. And let's add that medium padding 2 in here. Let's import it. Now let's add the style for this text. We can get this style from material theme, the typography. 
display small. Let me put this into the new lines. And we're going to change the font weight on this style so we can use copy. And we're gonna override that to font weight bold. And finally, for the color, we're gonna keep that from color resource. And this is display small. So r.color. Let me import r. Display small. We get it from the color resource because we want to support the light and night mode. Now the last thing is the description. So I'm gonna copy this one, paste it here, and we want to change this to description. Uh, for the style here, I am going to add body medium. And for the text, let's add text medium. Now that's it for this function. Now to preview this, we can just create a preview function here. And let's call this on boarding page preview. In here, I'm gonna add the news app theme. Then I'm going to add our function onboarding page. Now for the page, I am just going to pass the pages, the first page we have in the pages list. And one more thing for this in use app theme, if you go here, you can find that the dynamic color is enabled by true and this can lead to changing in our colors. Uh, so to disable that, we can just disable it from here. Let's do that. This is an important step because otherwise you will get unexpected uh, colors. Now, if we go to split and let's click on reload and here is what we have designed. Now we can just show the background and we can also create another one for the night mode. Now let's go to the onboarding package and create the onboarding screen. So let's create a new file called this onboarding screen and to create a composable function with the same name. So for this screen, as you can see, we already designed this part. What left is this part. So we need now to design our button and our indicator. Let's do that. So inside the presentation layer, I'm going to create another package called common because this button actually is going to be used in different places other than the onboarding screen. So we want to make this reusable by adding it inside the common package here. Now let's create, now I'm going to call this one use button and let's create a composable function for this button. Here we're going to pass the text, which is just a string and we want to have a callback. Now let's use the button composable and on a click equals to on a click. We want to change the colors of this button. We can use button defaults dot button colors. And for the background color, which is the container color, we're gonna get that from the material theme. So material theme dot color scheme dot primary, which is the blue color. And for the content color here, we are going to pass white. Now we wanna pass a shape. And this is gonna be a rounded corner shape. Size equals to 6 dB. And and let's add a text for this button. For the style, we are going to use label medium. And for the style, we're going to use label medium. And we're going to override the weight of this font to semi bold. Now again, you can create a preview function here to preview this button, but for the time, I'm not gonna do that. Now let's create the indicator in here. And I'll call this page indicator. Let's create that composable function. And in here, we're gonna have the modifier from the outside. Then we want to have the page size. So that means how many ellipses we wanna show for the indicator. Then the selected page. The selected color. And I'm gonna add a default value for this one and make it the primary color. And for the unselected color, I'm going to make this blue gray. Now to create this page indicator, we can just create it using a row. And here let's give the modifier. Horizontal arrangement is a space between. And then we can use the repeat function here to repeat the page size we passed. And here we get the page. Then to create the ellipses, we can just use a box. And now let's pass the modifier. Let's pass size of indicator size. We're gonna create that now. 
then we want to clip this to circle shape and we want to add a background color here we want to check actually if the page is selected then we want to make this selected color else and selected color and that's it now let's actually create these values let me just fix the typo in here circle shape and for this indicator size let's go to the diamonds file and let's create that in here and this is 14 dp let's import it in here okay that's it for our indicator now finally we can get back to the onboarding screen and we can start designing this so let's create a column and let's take the maximum size then we want to have a pager state we can use remember pager state and the initial page here is zero and now you want to pass the number of pages you have for these onboarding screens we have we can get that from pages.size so i'm only gonna have three screens now we want to add this experimental annotation in here and now i'm gonna create a state for the button i'm gonna call this button state let's use remember and let's use this derivative state of so basically this state will show the text of our button because if you go to the design as you can see the text for the last page changes here and we also don't want to show this back button for the first page or for the first onboarding screen now i use this drive state of because the button state here is going to depend on the pager state you're gonna see that now so in here we're gonna check when the pager state when the current page with the pager state is zero then we can return list of the first item of this list is going to be for the first button or the back button and the next item for the other button the blue button now if it's one we're going to return a list of and here we can show back for the first button and next for the other button and if it's two which is the last page in here we are going to show back and now we're going to show get started else than that which is not possible but we want to also add that we are just gonna pass empty strings okay now to create the onboarding screens we can use the horizontal pager composable function and here we want to pass the pager state we have defined then in here we will get the index of that onboarding screen then we can call onboarding page and we can pass pages of this index now let's go to the main activity and call that in here let's actually see what we have designed so far and let's launch the app so as you can see this is what we have done so far if we swipe down this will work but we have not added the buttons here and one thing you can also notice is the color of the title we're gonna fix that now well the problem is not from the title the problem is because we have not created the main box which is gonna which is gonna define the background color we can get that from material theme dot color scheme background and now if we launch the app we should be able to see the background color as you can see now this looks good let's actually switch to the light theme and here you go also the light theme looks as we expect okay that's it for this video in the next video we're going to add the bottom section here and we are gonna draw the UI behind these system bars. I hope you have a great day and see you in the next one.